All right, today you're invited to a real live Louisiana crawfish boil. We're going to do step by step, show you how to boil crawfish the real Louisiana way, and all the ingredients. All right, here we have some of the seasonings, uh, onions, potatoes, sausage, corn. A lot of times we throw in garlic or mushrooms, but today we're just doing what we have available. Our first step we need to do is rinse the crawfish. We're gonna use <coughs> this seafood basket. It's real convenient for uh, hosing them off. Some people feel they have to put them in water and float the dead ones to the top and put salt on them to purge them. But uh, we're going to keep it simple and just hose them down real good to wash some of the mud off their bodies. And, uh, and then we'll get ready to boil them. Alright, we're going to open up a sack of crawfish now. Try not to cut my fingers. Not exactly the easiest thing to do alone, but I lost my helpers. Alright, now I'm going to dump them into the basket. Alright, so this is about 36 pounds of crawfish, live. We don't need the leaf in there. These are pretty clean. Sometimes I use another bucket of water. And then I dip the basket just to make sure to rinse some mud off, but these look pretty good. Alright. Alright, next we're going to fill our pot. Make sure we're centered good on the burner. Now with some experience you'll get a feel for how much water you need the 36 pounds of crawfish I probably need to fill this up around halfway you can kind of see the discoloration on the basket there so I'm gonna let this fill to probably about here Once we put the crawfish and the vegetables and sausage in, the water level is going to rise. It should be a pretty full pot by the time it's done. Alright, now realize the more water you put in, the longer it's going to take to bring to a boil and the more propane you're going to use. Alright, our onions and potatoes are going to take the longest to cook, so they're going to go in right at the beginning. The corn and sausage you can actually end, uh, enter into the bowl right at the end. The corn will cook relatively quickly and the sausage of course in this case is already cooked. We're just going to kind of heat it up and let it absorb some of the spices. Now we've over the years experimented with a bunch of different types of pre-made bowls and even uh, some bowls that we tried to season ourselves. Uh, some homemade mixtures that we've gotten from other people and uh, some other famous brand names. Some are too salty, some not salty. We've even had crawfish bowls where people have used uh, gravy uh, powder. But what we feel is the best is Cajun Land Seafood Bowl. Now these, this size container is usually the perfect amount of spice for uh, one sack of crawfish. So we'll use the entire amount. Now when you 
pour this in, you want to be careful, there's not any wind blowing, it's fairly spicy, and if you get it in your nose and inhale it, uh, you might be in for a little surprise. Alright, so that's the beginnings of a Louisiana crawfish bowl. Now we're going to light it up, bring it to a boil, and what we'll do is we'll check the potatoes, and as soon as the potatoes just start to get soft, it'll be time to put the crawfish in. Alright, we're using a regular barbecue lighter to light this. Some people use a paper towel or an extended match. Turn on the regulator. Okay, I can hear it coming out the bottom, so I'm going to slightly turn it on, not all the way, and then I can hear it hissing. Alright, now we're lit, we're going to turn it up. It starts the ball. Alright, the burner's been on a while, so we're gonna take a look. It's starting to foam up and heat up. As soon as it starts boiling, we'll see the steam coming off the pot. Alright, now we see some steam coming off the pot. That's a telltale sign that we're boiling. There we go. Now we don't need to keep the flame as high anymore. So we can turn that down and save some propane just to maintain the boil. Make sure our potatoes are mixed up. Now we'll just wait until the potatoes start to get a little bit soft and then we can put the crawfish in. Alright, I pull up potatoes to test the softness. And this one's looking pretty good. Pretty soft. So we're going to go ahead and put the crawfish in. Alright, now we're going to dump the crawfish in. I'll pull it. the crawfish are boiling. And they are. Turn down the fire a little bit. And I'm going to stir them up and we're going to time about 15 minutes. Alright, so now it's time to add the rest of our goodies. Mix that in. Alright, won't be long now. Alright, cooking time is over, so we're going to turn off the propane. And now, give them a little stir. And I like to hose them down to cool them. That's going to stop the cooking process. 
And then we're going to soak them for 20 minutes to allow them to take in the maximum amount of season. Just the amount of soap time, 20 minutes, up or down. Be careful, uh, the longer you soak them, the saltier they get. Lift them and let them drain. That is how you do a Louisiana crawfish bowl.